Well, you guys are filming yeah. and you're getting to sort of the end of the filming process. Yeah. And then Suge Knight decides to show up yeah. on set in Compton. Yes, sir. So, I mean, the story is a little fuzzy depending on who you talk to, but according to Suge, you know, he wanted to get paid yeah. for them using, mm -hmm. you know, his likeness, yes. which is you. Yeah. And according to him, he was supposed to meet Ice Cube or, or someone to talk about payment. You know, he shows up, no one's there to talk to him. He gets ready to leave. They, they tell him to come back and talk to whoever. And they go, you know, he goes to Tam's Burgers. And at that point, all hell breaks loose. Uh, he shows up in his car, um, Clee, Bone, uh, Sloan, and yeah. I'm punching him in the face. He backs up, hits Bone, and then turns back around, runs over Bone again, and then kills his friend Terry Carter, who was actually there to try to smooth the situation yeah, over. Yeah, be a mediator, yeah. Yep. So then he eventually turns himself in, and you know he sits basically in jail for a while as they're going through the court case. When you found out about that, here you are playing Suge, and Suge just showed up on set and killed somebody. First, like, I got the call from Bone. Bone called me and told me what happened. Oh. You know, and I, I was just like. Uh, okay, so, so from Bone's, based on that conversation, what exactly did Bone tell you? He just, he wasn't like specific. He just said, yo, man, um, should have killed the dude, ran him over. Like, it's, it's, it's crazy, yo. He's like, he was just like, it's just crazy. It was just crazy. And I, I was speechless. I'm just like, dude, this guy keeps, you know, being in bad situations. And it, it's, it was, I really felt sad for the, the person that passed and their families. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I, I think, I, I don't, I know he didn't want to kill, I, it, that wasn't his purpose to kill him. But like, like when you felt what was under you, why are you going to go back? And again, I, it, I stopped the car, bro. Get out, you know, stop the car. See what's up. But, you know, I don't, who, I don't know what he was thinking. Like, I, that's one thing I talked with a lot of the people that, that were, you know, telling me and educating me on what Suge would do or what they thought he would do. I, I tried not to get, like, know too much because there's a, like, I found out a lot of, a lot of stuff. And then, and I, I, I wish I didn't know what it was, but I, I do know. But as you know, I'm just there to, I do, I was there to just play him to the best of my ability. That's all I wanted to do. Okay, what was the craziest story someone told you about Suge that the general public doesn't really know about? I don't think I should tell you that. <laughs> I don't think I should tell you that, man. I mean, there's been a lot of public stories. I mean, from making people drink urine out of a bucket. I heard about that story. That's been out there. Uh, pistol whipping people. Um, you know, there's a room in the back where people get beat up. You know, if they I heard somehow messed up. Yeah. Is there anything else that you could share that you heard that isn't one of those oh, stories? Oh, yeah. One in particular, but I really... <laughs> it's like, you know, when somebody talks to you and like, I'm, I'm like old school, like, it stays with me. You feel me? It's, it, Got it. Like, I'm not a, I don't, I'm, I'm here to talk about, like, me. It just, it's, mm -hmm. it, wouldn't, it ain't my, it ain't my story. I okay, don't, fair you enough. know what I'm saying? F f fair enough. Okay. Ultimately, after three years, Suge ends up uh, pleading guilty. Uh, well, pleading no contest to voluntary manslaughter. He gets 28 years, 22 years for running over the victim, plus six years because it's his third strike. Um, when you heard about that, and this is a very, you know, what I feel is a bit of a, a dicey kind of situation because if you take Suge out of that equation and throw like a little old white lady in who just got punched in the face and is just driving recklessly and ends up accidentally killing someone, she would probably get probation, right? Um, but since it's Suge and there's a whole history of this and he's got two strikes and, you know, and so forth, he gets 28 years for, you know, what everyone has pretty much established as accidentally killing somebody. He wasn't trying to kill Terry. 
Um, he may have been trying to kill Bone, but he he didn't kill him. He ended up accidentally killing Terry, but he got 28 years for it. When you think about that sentence, do you think it was fair, or do you think that because he's Suge, he got a lot more time? First of all, I'm not blowing smoke up your butt. I This is one of the like main reasons I, I have so much respect for you, because you see you see the truth. You see what people are doing and what's being done to other people. You know what I mean? And I really like, I don't like talking about this because I really don't. But if if people like you would, if people were more like you in regards of understand, trying to put yourself in black black people's shoes, do you understand what I'm saying? Like if you, if, 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 if some, you know, what some white folk could just put themselves, try to put themselves in our shoes, it would be such a, like a, a great, it, it, it would build things. Do you understand? It would, it would, it would change the game, man. It, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be like, it wouldn't be racism, you know? But unfortunately we live in a world that is not fair. And do I think for, 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 for over 30 years? No, he did not intend to kill him at all. I, I honestly, I mean, it's, it's sad, but I, it, I'd rather him do five years and pay a, a crazy fine to the family, like a crazy amount of money to the family. But all that jail time, it's not fair. Not, now, my judgment is not. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, the family end up suing Suge for, I think, yeah. like eight million or some huge amount and yeah. end up in a, in a mistrial, essentially. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So so we'll see whether the family goes and sues again. But I, I mean, Suge doesn't have that type of money now anyway. So no, it's sort of like almost a symbolic yeah. kind of lawsuit at, at this point. Yes, sir. Um, have you ever actually talked to Suge yourself? Never. Never yeah. had the need to. Got it. Yeah, me neither. It, no, you know what? <laughs> me it just, neither. People, people would say, you don't need to talk to him. And then people was like, why don't you meet him? Cause like some of his family members that, you know, that, that were at the premiere and saw the film, yo, they, they loved my performance. You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, the, the scene where uh, I'm, I'm driving with Dre and somebody parks into my spot. My parking, the parking spot scene. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, I'd be pissed off if somebody parked in my spot when it's my spot of my building. I'd be upset. Now I wouldn't piss the whip to do, but I call security or, or tell him or ask him to move. Who seriously? That's it's, it's, it's disrespectful. You don't park in somebody else's space. It's disrespectful. In my judgment, in my judgment, that's the only thing I. You know, I, I kind of agree with when it comes to Shook. But uh, the other stuff is kind of crazy.